Hello everyone and welcome to the EVA channel. My name is Myra, aka Miss English Teacher. Here you will find everything you need to learn English. In today's video, we are doing something pretty cool. You know the EVA app? If you don't have the app, find the link below and install it. By the way, we give 50% discount to our subscribers, so go ahead, subscribe and get your app. So in today's video, we are going to be reading together 1984 by George Orwell. This is my favorite book and um, I really love how it works on the app because you can actually read the book and listen to it so that way you can improve your reading and pronunciation at the same time. Then the police enter the room and arrest Winston and Julia. Also, when you find words that you don't understand, then you can simply click on the word and add it to your flashcards. And that helps you retrieve them later, find them later on, and it's pretty cool. So what we're going to do today is um, the following. I'm going to read the book for you and please follow it with me. And every now and then I'm going to explain to you the words or the grammar structure or some facts about the book. So let's get started. Winston Smith lives in London, but not the London we know. As you know, London is the capital of England and the UK. But that's not the London we're talking about here. It's a part of Oceania. Oceania is actually the islands of the Western, Southern and Central Pacific. However, in this context, this is the setting of this book. This is a completely imaginary, fictional state that is totalitarian, which means a dictatorship. The government is called Big brother. The government are the people that are directing or running the country and the state. Um, you can have, for example, a president, a prime minister, ministers, and these represent the government. And in this part, it is called big brother. Big brother, actually, this word made it to the dictionary thanks to this book. And here, every time you say the big brother, it means a government that is monitoring, controlling all of its citizens' actions, and they know what they're doing. There are cameras and listening devices controlling all of the people every time. Cameras are tools that you use to record videos like I'm doing now, so that's your camera, right? Um, and listening devices like tools to listen to people and to watch them. So everyone is being watched every time, all time. There is also a language called Newspeak, which they use. So here called, like the name of the language is Newspeak. They don't have fun words such as party, sex, art, rock and roll, etc. So when you use etc at the end of the word, and I want you to pay attention to the punctuation, yeah, it's comma, etc, dot, not three dots. It means there are more items and more examples that should be included in this list. So other fun words are included. If you can define something, it can be possible, right? This thinking is called double think. Now let me explain to you some things. To define something means to explain it. And let's say, um, what is a mug? A mug is a container that you use to drink coffee, right? So I define it, but if these words such as party and sex 
do not do not have a definition in the dictionary in the language you speak then these words are impossible they do not exist and this is the principle of double think for example sex exists but there is no definition for sex so it doesn't exist and you can't have it that is double think because there is no definition of this word so actually there isn't this thing Winston has a diary in which he writes down his criminal ideas a diary is um, like a notebook where you can write every day what happened what you think and so on and he has criminal ideas criminal is an adjective that derives from crime crimes are things that people do but are illegal not allowed by the state and if you do them then you can go to prison so he has a diary where he actually writes his criminal ideas he writes in a diary the phrase down with the big brother he realizes this is a thought crime thought is the noun and also thought a thought like now for example i think about something that's a thought and here is the definition of a thought crime a thought crime is a crime where you think bad thoughts about big brother and the political party as a whole political party is an organization of different people who have similar political thoughts and they come together winston talks about how his job is to change history history that is the events especially like past events in a chronological order so he wants to change history to make it different and make it the way the government wants people to see it he works in a place called the ministry of truth truth is the opposite of lies right so to tell the truth when it's true and ministry as i said in the government you have different bodies different organizations and each of them is called ministry this country oceania is at war with eurasia and at peace with east asia to be at war war and peace are opposite but when oceania and eurasia are at peace with each other he must go back and change all the times when they were at war so he's going to change those things he's going to delete this fact so he creates a new history oceania was at war with eurasia but now they are at peace so now they were never at war with each other see this is called double think so they were never at war with eurasia double think winston thinks about the girl who works near him and how beautiful she is her name is julia winston really wants her um, if you want somebody, it means you want to be with them, but also sexually you want to be with them. Winston continues to write in his diary, which becomes full of thought crimes. I want you to notice, guys, here, when he defines Julia, he used who. And now when he's talking about his diary, he uses which these are what we call relative clauses so we use who for people who julia which things diary and where places always remember this for the relative pronouns we use this he wants to give it 
to O'Brien. He thinks that O'Brien is secretly the leader of the rebel movement. Okay, a couple of words to explain here. So, he thinks means he believes. In his opinion, O'Brien is secretly a secret is something that people shouldn't know about. So people do not know about O'Brien, who works undercover, the leader of the rebel movement. A rebel is a person who, a, who rises in resistance, opposition, or even armed resistance against the current government. And a movement is a group of people with particular ideas or aims. So the rebel movement, this, this is a group of people who is opposing the government and probably wants to make a change. Winston sees Julia and she gives him a note that says, I love you. So he meets her and she gives him a note, right? And says, I love you. The next week, they meet and avoid all of Big Brother's cameras. To avoid means to keep away. So there's a camera here, you go the other way, so they are not caught. They go out to the country, probably they mean the countryside, like outside of the city, where nobody sees them. After their hot sex, like very good sex, they go home and take different routes to avoid getting caught. Caught is the past of catch, be arrested, because they did something illegal, right? And so they take two different ways, two different routes, so the big brother does not catch them. They meet in some secret places and continue having hot sex. Sex and love are illegal in Oceania. Illegal means something that people are not allowed to do. For example, drugs or killing people, that's illegal. Julia is a member of the Junior Anti-Sex League. To be a member, for example, if you go to the gym, and you're part of the gym, you're a member. And here there's a league, and she is one of these people. She's a member of the anti-sex league. She tells Winston why sex is illegal. The party hates sex because it is a waste of energy. When you waste money, time, or energy, you spend it in a bad way, in a useless way. For example, people could use that energy for something useful. This is the reason why it's illegal, because it's a waste, it's not useful, it's useless. We need to do useful things. Winston and Julia get a secret apartment to spend time together. They want to join the secret rebel movement, as I said the group of people who are going against the government. Winston tells her that he thinks O'Brien is a rebel and they can go to him to talk about this because he knows what he's doing. He's, he's a rebel, he's against the government, right? Then O'Brien talks to Winston and wants to meet him. So they decide to get together Winston is happy because now he can finally join the rebel movement. When you use the word finally, it means uh, it was hard or you have waited for this for a long time. So now, finally, he can join the rebel movement. O'Brien invites Winston to his house. To invite someone, it means to ask them to come. O'Brien has a nice house with all sorts of expensive things. All sorts means 
a large number of different things or people. And he has expensive things, so luxurious things. Winston and Julia tell O'Brien that they want to be rebels and fight Big Brother. Okay, not physical fight, but be against the government. So you say someone tells someone something. Someone says something to someone. Okay, so you tell someone, but you say something to someone. Winston tells O'Brien about his secret apartment where he meets Julia. Then O'Brien gives him a book. The book talks about what the rebels want. Then they leave O'Brien's house. You leave, you go. So after their conversation, they told him all their secrets and they left. Winston reads the book, then falls asleep in his secret apartment with Julia. So he reads and then he falls asleep. He wakes up and there is someone in his room. So he fell asleep and then he woke up and someone was in the room, in the apartment. Then the police enter the room and arrest Winston and Julia. The police, those are the people working for the government and arrest. Arrest means to put handcuffs, right? And take someone to jail. Winston is in prison. Prison or jail, that is the place where all criminals are locked up. He asks how Julia is. I want you to pay attention to the structure. When we are reporting a question, we do not use the regular structure of the question, how is Julia, but we use a sentence structure. We keep the regular order. So he asks how Julia is. Winston still thinks O'Brien is a rebel, but he is wrong. Still means continues to believe. But mm -mm, this is not true. O'Brien is a high-ranking official of the Oceania Inner Party. A high-ranking means a person who has a senior, very important position. Official or officer is someone who works for the government. And O'Brien works for the inside party. The inner party means inside party. Winston is taken to the Ministry of Law, where O'Brien brainwashes him. To brainwash someone, it means to reduce their ability of thinking and making them so weak that they are easy to manipulate and accept the ideas that you feed them. O'Brien tells Winston about the power of the party and how it will never die. So the party is very strong and the party is going to survive. Winston is tortured, but still says he loves Julia. To be tortured means uh, to be subjected to great physical pain. Maybe um, they pull his fingernails or uh, hurt him physically or mentally. So this is torture. Or they want, in this case, they want him to change his mind. So they make him suffer physically and mentally, probably. But he continues, he still says he loves Julia. This makes O'Brien angry because he cannot completely break his mind. He wants to break his mind, change his will, control him. Winston finally, at the end, after huge, you know, pain, resistance, he accepts the rules of the party. He says, yes, I accept these laws. I accept, I accept that sex is illegal. He's scared because he thinks they are going to kill him. To be scared means to be afraid, 
Yeah, like, ah, scared. O'Brien asks Winston one last time about Big Brother and Winston says he hates Big Brother. So he still couldn't completely break him. So they take Winston to room 101. By the way, guys, when you are in a hotel room and you want to order room service, you're going to say the numbers one by one. You're going to say, I'm in room 264, right? But here, he's in room 101. Winston is tied to a chair. To tie something is to have both ends like this and do this, right? So this is Winston's hand and there's a chair. So he is tied to the chair. O'Brien tries one last thing to completely break Winston's mind. He uses rats because he knows that Winston hates rats. O'Brien puts a large box over Winston's head and it has rats in it. O'Brien wants to open the doors in the box so the rats can eat Winston's face. Oh, this is an example of torture, what they do to bring him pain. Winston tells him to do it with Julia, not him. O'Brien is happy because Winston betrays his lover. To betray means to disappoint someone, to be a traitor. So he says, yeah, do this to Julia, yeah? Time passes, Winston sits in a bar, he sees Julia, but feels nothing more for her. He doesn't love her anymore. Now he is following Big Brother's order. So now he listens to the rules. This is illegal, so he will not do that. Now he loves Big Brother. He is, so O'Brien managed to break his mind and make him one of the government, that is the controlling government, Big Brother, one of his men. Be careful of what you say. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you learned from it. Please let me know in the comment below if you would like me to read more stories like this for you. In my next video, I am teaching you some expressions with Elon Musk, so make sure to watch it. Stay tuned and see you soon!